Neighbors tell us they're not only saddened by what happened next door, but they're shocked because they tell us they never heard any arguments or commotion at the McDade's house until today. The smile in this picture of Leanne McDade is how those who worked with her for many years at Valley Veterinary Associates remember her. Always positive, always happy. She's always been a very upbeat, happy person. I mean, I can, everybody loves Leanne. Um, she is one of the sweetest people you'll ever want to meet. And this has just been devastating for us. It's been hard. 42 year old Leanne was killed inside her Clinton Avenue home in Lower Burrell. Police say her husband, Mark McDade, is also dead. Coroner's officials say evidence points to Mark shooting and killing Leanne and then himself. But an autopsy performed this evening will determine for certain if that's the case. They were just, it was just such a quiet couple when, uh, when they were outside, you always seemed to get along. Neighbors said the McDades were never heard arguing. A family member found their bodies this morning in an upstairs bedroom. I heard car door and somebody talking, and I looked out um, and just saw two little police cars. There's never been no commotion over there at all. Police agree. The Lower Borough Police Chief confirms the last time officers were called there was 13 years ago, and it wasn't for anything violent in nature. Now, Leanne's friends are remembering her the way they knew her. She was a great person. I mean, loved people, very, very sweet with people. Um, you know, always looked for the good in people. And um, we're going to miss that with her. As for the McDade's pets, they are staying with employees at Valley Veterinary Associates. In Westmoreland County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.